and the Father. All this time, and, and, and you never said a word. Please. Is, is, is the baby all right? That sounded pretty strong, right? The baby's okay? I believe so. I won't know anything for sure until I get the lab results back, but the fetal heart rate sounds good. And since you're well into your second trimester and there's no sign of bleeding, it's probably not a miscarriage. Um, but the cramping? I suspect dehydration. But you haven't had any cramping since you've been admitted, so it's probably a good sign that the worst is over. So what now? Well, we'll start you on an IV to start the hydration process and keep drinking lots of water. And uh, when we get the blood work back from the lab, we'll go over the results, okay? And if you have another cramp, hit the call button immediately. I will, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank God she's all right. Madison is 19 weeks pregnant. What? That's, that's, that's the correct number, right? Yes. Scott wasn't even out of prison 19 weeks ago. Oh, my God. So, uh, the, the lie, the lie about Scott being the father. What, <laughs> why didn't you just tell me? I couldn't. You couldn't? I didn't know how. It's not that hard. It's impossible. So tell me now, Madison, say the words. You're the father. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I thought it would be better this way. You thought it would be better keep keeping my child from me? How, how, how is that possibly better? We broke up. I still had a right to know. You and Greenlee just got back together. You were happy. I didn't want to mess with that, okay? I didn't want to make you feel obligated. Yeah, I feel obligated. I, I would have felt like I wanted to help. Exactly. That's the problem. You're a good guy, and you would have stepped up and tried to take this on. Because it's my child. It's my child. And beside, I'm going to raise her on my own. What about Scott? He's a friend. I mean, like the big lie, him being the father. I mean, where did you even come up with that? Remember when you found out that I was pregnant? Minutes before your wedding ceremony? It would have been the worst possible time to tell you, am I right? It, it wouldn't have been great timing, no. Right. Scott saw that I was in a hard spot and he lied. Help me. Okay, so what about after the wedding? Oh, you know, like every day lying to me, every day, that's your solution? It worked for me. But it's not just you. There's, there's another life here, a, a baby, a child. I mean, I can't believe you could lie to me about something so huge. I didn't see another way. My God, Madison, are you going to keep this from me forever? Maybe. I guess this is something that you never expected. I, I'm, I'm still worried about Emma. I've got Emma in my head. This is, it's, it's all too much to take in at once. It must be for you too. I'm sorry that we didn't find Emma in Boston, and now this is not the last thing you need. Okay, can, can you stop acting like this is horrible news for me? Okay, please. It's a huge surprise, absolutely a surprise. But this is not something that I need to be lied to about. It really isn't. Be honest with me, all right? All right. You told me months ago I could have helped in a lot of ways, all right? You, you, you wouldn't have to be doing this by yourself. I'm not doing this by myself. Look, Scott lying to keep your secret isn't exactly a healthy support system. I've had plenty of support. 
book, something like this happens and you find out who's really there for you. I mean, Randy, Frankie, they've been great. So R Randy and Frank, do they know that I'm the father? It really doesn't make a difference. Okay. Does anybody else know? No. Look, I, I, I know that our breakup wasn't, wasn't easy. I know... I mean, I get that. I do. I get that. But we stayed friends, you know? And I told you from the very beginning, if there was anything that you ever wanted or, or needed, that you could come to me. Right. Like, uh, can you come help me hang up a picture? And by the way, I'm pregnant? I don't think so. Brian, when I found out about this, you and I were done. Well, just a little bit done. Never again kind of done. So, I needed to figure out what I wanted. I didn't even know if I wanted the baby or not. I just needed time to think, to make sure that I was making the right decision. Well, I'm glad you chose to keep her. Well, I'll admit I wasn't sure. But then, I almost lost the baby and made me realize that I do want her. That I love her already. You never thought to tell me? Of course I did. Of course I did. Every time I saw you, I wanted to. You could have trusted me, It's Max. not that I didn't trust you. I just needed to make this decision for myself. And I decided that I'm not only going to keep the baby, I'm going to raise her on my own. Well, I think you'll be a great man. So, uh, now what? Now you go and bring Emma home. I get out of here, I go back to work, I live my life. Okay, there's got to be something... Your daughter needs you. And I am going to find Emma and bring her home, but this is my child too, Madison. Please don't be angry. I'm, I'm not... I, I just, I'm trying to wrap my head around all of this. I mean, I have, I have one child missing, and now I find out I've got another child on the way. Good news, Miss North. The results confirm that the baby is fine, and it's likely just dehydration. Thank God. Hey, could you, um, could you leave me alone for a little while? I just I think I need to focus right now. Yeah, sure, I'll be in touch. I just cannot believe that Madison has been pregnant all this time with my child and she hasn't said anything. I mean, I, I can't even imagine how you feel about all this. I'm fine. It's you I'm worried about. I mean, I definitely should have figured this out. The timing. Really, that she sleeps with Scott out of nowhere like that. The clues were obviously slamming me in the face. I should definitely have figured this out. And, and now months have gone by. Don't beat yourself up. I really thought I knew Madison better than this. I mean, lying to me is one thing, you know, but when a child is involved... There's something you should know. It's the FBI. This is Ryan. What'd they say? Do you want on Emma? No, they were checking in with me to see if I'd heard anything. I'm sorry. You were, uh, you were going to say something? You want to tell me something? About the baby. Don't blame yourself for not realizing it was yours. I mean, Madison didn't want you to know. She was very convincing. How could she cut me out of my own child's life? I mean, this girl would have grown up in front of my eyes, and I would have never known the truth. Always. 